In this video, we're going to have a look at Blitz game I played, it's Benko Gambit. Black gave up a pawn in the opening, and then we got this middle game where I really wasn't sure what to play. So, if you want to see what happened, then stick around. d4, c5, d5, knight f6, and let's go c4, yeah. Benko Gambit, let's take, and we'll take again. So, bishop a6, knight c3, d6, e4, take, take, g6, knight f3, bishop g7, g3, castle, king g2, knight a6, rook e1. Normally the knight goes to d7, now queen b6, okay. Now how to play this? That's the question. Maybe rook e2, then I can get the bishop out. I can go e5. Hmm. Alright, we'll go rook e2 first. To defend b2, but then what, you see? Where to put the pieces? Knight d7, maybe bishop g5. So he goes rook e8 maybe, and then I'll get my pieces out. Queen c2. Hmm, I'm confused. I don't know where to put my pieces. I really don't. Rook c1. Then a3, I guess. I don't know. Okay, h6, bishop f4. g5, bishop e3. And knight b4. Didn't expect that at all. I'll go a3. Because of bishop c3, rook c3. Let's take with the rook. Okay, back there. Hmm. Knight d2, queen c2, I don't know. Let's go queen c2. Okay, 49 seconds, got to speed up. Take, take, f4. Let's try and get a kingside attack going. Bishop d4. So we'll, we'll play queen d2. They might go f6 and then I think I have to go e5 just to blow open the position. e5, let's go. Okay, 37 seconds, let's go. Blow it open. So we'll pre-move that capture. Okay, queen e4, king g7, rook f1, okay, c4, we're going to check, and his position should collapse, check, okay, check, and then e6, and then mate on f7, and you can't stop it. All right, cool. Awesome. Now we're going to analyse this game. If you're not interested, go to the top right corner for a few suggestions. Let's take it from the opening. We have the Benko Gambit where black gives up a pawn. Take a6, take, take, knight c3, d6, e4, take, take, g6. So I castle eventually just by putting my king safely on g2, so knight f3, g3, king g2, now he goes knight a6, which I've never seen before. So one option here is maybe knight d2, then knight c4, okay. So if I do this, let's say he does the same thing, queen b6, knight c4, how about this, queen b4, queen e2. And maybe get kicked away with that, okay, let's say knight there. a4, wow, maybe rook a3 next, knight b5 as well, so rook e1, rook e2, bishop g5, rook e8, ah, and now queen d2, this bishop, it really is strong, so maybe I should get rid of it with bishop h6, okay, let's say he goes rook b8, well, still bishop h6, does he have queen b2 here? Oh, he does, okay, I've got to be careful. Don't 
the line isn't over. Okay, rook c1 first, so... Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm still putting my pieces on decent squares. g5, bishop e3. Now he wastes a move with knight b4. So he needs to do something else. Queen b7, then c4, knight c5. Ah, interesting. I can attack the chain with h4. Okay, g4. Knight d2. Maybe. Knight h2. Knight g1. Knight d2, queen b2. Yeah, can't do that. So, no. So, let's go knight h2, and after h5, maybe I should break it up with f3. f3 is possible. Queen d2. Well, let's go f3. That makes sense to me. It's knight e5 then. Take, take. Maybe rook f2. Bishop f4, knight c4, knight g4. Crashing through. You can even kick the knight away first. Then you can take on g4. Okay, cool. Bishop e3. Knight b4, wasted move. Maybe he was thinking this. But then rook c3. Even this works. But okay, rook c3 is good. Knight a2, I mean the knight's not coming out. So a3, knight back, and queen there. Okay. Knight d2. Using this, you can't play c4 because bishop attacks the queen. So you went queen b7, cool. And then I got my knight there, so finally. At least I know what I'm kind of doing. Rerouting this knight to that square because black doesn't have a b-pawn to kick it away. So you might as well use the square. Good. Knight e5, we're going to take and then go f4. Yeah, kingside attack starting. So it's good that black made his kingside weak. Now I took advantage of it. Bishop d4, queen d2. Okay, so I can break it up. And if take, take here, I mean, just find a way to get to that pawn. Ah, e5. Okay, just like that. Yeah, that was better. So queen d2, take, take, f6, blow it open, e5. And there are lots of squares where you can get in on. Take, take, queen e4, and winning. Yeah, he should go king g7, and then I was planning rook f1. Let's see, rook f1, rook f8, and then something good. Like take, and then what? Take, and then d6. h4, that looks pretty cool. h4, knight c7. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. And then maybe rook h1. Yeah, switch. Queen, rook aiming for that square. If you put that there, this queen can come in there. So queen e4. But then he didn't see check. He should go the other way. And here I should have played e6 straight away, but I didn't see it. Now if he goes here, his pawns should just be falling check. And then king here, if check, and then rook d1, find a way over. You know what, I think I would have played h4, just open up the king side, rook d5, and then, you yeah, don't really want to take, it's losing a bit of control, and remember it's a blitz game, so I might not win this in time. Okay, so that's why rook d1 was played got two reasons rook d1 so then we're guarding this and then h4 can be next all right cool also the rook can swing so then this will weaken up the structure but he went the other way and then e6 and that's it whatever he plays mate nice game against the Benko Gambit. If you enjoyed this video, then why not like it and subscribe to the channel at the same time. Make sure you hit that bell, then YouTube will let you know when I release a new video.